I am at my gym in Brentwood, California, Meraki Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and uh, let's break that down. I think Connor made a lot of great points. That's great analysis. A part of getting better as a fighter is being able to see where you went wrong, where you went right as a fighter, and making those adjustments. I think he's going to learn a lot here in this fight against Floyd Mayweather, and this is especially pertinent because he's, he might be going against a guy who really can get on the inside and bust him up. And I'm referring to Mr. Nate Diaz, who has an excellent boxing background as well. I'm going to introduce uh, my partner here, Scott, who's going to help me with this demonstration. Now, um, from here, you know, he talked about Mayweather being very close, in tight, being on his chest. And as a fighter, a lot of times you need room uh, in order to land those big shots. You want to be able to wind up from here where you can get maximum power. And because, you know, in mixed martial arts, we typically fight from a longer range, we're not used to being in that range too much because you can't clinch. You can't throw elbows, which are very dangerous. You can't hit takedowns from that position. In boxing, you obviously cannot. Floyd knew that. Floyd knew he was going to be way more comfortable in this range, not to mention, as a striker, as a fighter, the closer you are, the more nervous you get. Connor not being used to that range, Floyd was very, very dominant here. And I'll, I'll show you why. Now, Connor is very good at range. He's very good at keeping fighters on the outside, rolling that, that uh, pull uh, right cross, or actually left cross uh, for him since he's a southpaw. Now, he's very good on the outside. He can use his kicks, obviously, for boxing. He wasn't able to do that. But he is very good with that long jab. He is very good at stepping back on the inside, landing that cross. From here, it's very difficult to generate power um, for most strikers. For boxers who are really uh, seasoned in this type of uh, striking, they can eat shots. If you know, Let's say you're striking to my body. You know, you see a guy like Mayweather. He'll lean into the shots. He'll block here and then come up. And be able to transfer the energy from here to this spot is an art in and of itself. You don't want to be all the way on the outside from here. You're not going to be able to land shots against a guy who's trying to be in here. So Mayweather, you see him as you're throwing shots, go ahead. Mayweather can, was very comfortable in this range and then very good at countering here and being able to transfer the energy just from a short distance, just from about six inches, boom, to come on the inside and land. Most strikers need space in order to breathe to be able to create like Connor. And for Nate Diaz, he's pretty good at doing this. Nick Diaz is a master at putting his head right here in the chest and beating up the body. As soon as he tries to get away, he goes upstairs, goes back to the body. And, and that's one thing that Floyd was doing very well against Connor, is being able to be very calm in here, being able to block shots in this close distance as you throw shots, boom, and returning, just in tight, going to the body, going upstairs, going upstairs. You know, mixing it up. It's very difficult to defend going low and going high at the same time. He was attacking on two different fronts, which was very difficult for Connor to deal with, especially when he was pushing Connor back. He kept driving Connor back here in this position, never giving Connor the ability to get on the, the outside and create space. So he was very content to pressure, back him up. It's very difficult to counter when you're going back, especially against a seasoned boxer like Floyd Mayweather. So you might be asking, how does Connor get better at doing this? Well, he has to work on inside fighting. Having a guy be on the inside here in this range, working on a guy who's actually very experienced as a boxer and not allowing it to get on the outside, okay? Actually, a lot of times you'll see guys actually tie a rope around each other. So they have to fight on the inside. From here, they're forced to really work on both offense and defense and they can't really get away from each other. But to do this, this is a lot more comfortable for Connor. So Connor needs to break out of that mold, get comfortable with the uncomfortable, and really work on striking from this range. Now for mixed martial arts, he still needs to be careful here because he doesn't want to get taken down either. To just strike here in this range, he's susceptible to getting taken down, he's susceptible to getting clinched from this position. So. He needs to find that balance. Mixed martial arts striking, very different than boxing striking, of course. He needs to find that balance, but if he does want to work at that range, he's got to do this over and over again against a very seasoned boxer. I already know your question. Can Connor get better at this? Yes, he can. He immediately was able to analyze where he went wrong. I think that's what makes him such a special fighter. Um, and of course, going against one of the best, perhaps the best boxer uh, of all time and learning from how composed he was, of how he was landing the shots, going back and watching video, watching it in slow-mo, getting all the different angles, seeing what Floyd did to him, he can then kind of take that experience and use it for his own game. It comes down to get a, getting a ton of repetitions and having a good set of coaching eyes to make sure that he's doing the right thing. So there you have it.
Train, ride, and party like Conor McGregor in Vegas.